Hey there my fellow pigment nerds, how are you? This week I was hoping to get the Roman Smoltz swatching video out, however the weather has been pretty dark in the last two weeks. I've been waiting for a good filming day to get that done, but it hasn't happened yet. And uh, so I wanted to create a different video to just keep you guys going. And I'm praying that the weather will get better for next week so that we can go back to uh, swatching videos. This week, instead, we are going to be doing a 50 random facts about me because I thought it might be interesting to share with you guys random facts about me that isn't to do with what colors or art because I don't share that much of that side of myself here on YouTube. So let's get started with the facts. Fact number one, my favorite animal are seals, especially fluffy white baby harp seals that I think to me they are little angels on ice. Fact number two is that I am a huge fan of true crime and when I was younger I used to read a lot of true crime books and nowadays we have YouTube so I get to watch lots and lots of true crime YouTube videos instead. Number three is that I used to be mega into profiling and I'm still interested in profiling and I was reading profiling textbooks at 13 because I was that kind of weird kid at school who were just doing random things that nobody else was doing. I'm fascinated, fascinated by criminal psychology and how you use statistics and psychology and things like that to narrow down who the suspect is or who it's likely to be. Fascinated. And yes, I am a huge fan of Criminal Minds. I've seen every single episode in the, that series. Fact number four, on the flip side, I do not read any fiction books. I stick to non-fiction books and I also read a lot of self-help books. So yeah, I don't really have time for fiction and I know people are going to be freaking out that I don't read fiction because I do think it's a wonderful thing. It's just not something I have a lot of time for because other things take precedence in my life. Fact number five is that I am a qualified swimming teacher. It was, I qualified when I was at school. It was a program that my school had. You take all the <laughs> girls that didn't work very good at sports or refuse to do sports and basically get them qualified to be swimming teachers so that we had some sort of a record that we actually do some physical things. Fact number six is that I speak English and Japanese fluently. Japanese is my mother tongue, it's what I was born to, and English is my second language. Although I feel that English I'm much better at English now than I am with Japanese because I've spent 30 years over here in the UK and I also speak a little, little tiny bit of French, Italian and Spanish, just enough to get me by all the things that I want to eat at restaurants and buy train tickets and stuff like that, but nothing conversational or anything like that. Number seven is that I can do an awful lot of different crafts. I My main passion is crochet, of course, but I can also knit to a level of knitting socks. And I also, I have a list here. I also do glass painting, needlepoint, tapestry, quilt, quilting, sewing, cross stitch, beading, bead weaving, and many more that I've probably forgotten. So I just really like doing craft work and things with my hands and making things with my hands. So, so I would definitely categorize myself as a crafter at heart more than an artist at heart. I just, I just like the craft world. I feel very comfortable in it. Fact number eight, I have a bronze medallion, which is a qualification that's above grade eight. If you know the grading system in terms of music and things in acting completely against my will. Basically, I used to have a speech teacher at school so that I could learn how to pronounce English properly. And that's why I don't tend to have that Japanese accent in my English. However, my speech teacher then forced me kicking and screaming to do acting qualifications to help with my speech. And so I did grade eight and then bronze medallion. And I begged her to make me let me stop taking acting qualifications after that because acting and being on stage and being in front of people isn't really my thing. I've always been a backstage 
kind of person. Fact number nine, in my life I have had nine cats. I have a list again. Three Robrovsky hamsters, three Syrian hamsters, a gerbil and two rats. And I'm happy to announce that we now have four baby gerbils in our family, which I will make a separate video about and talk about their names and how we came to be a gerbil parents. But yes, so uh, we, I definitely love having rodents as pets. I think they make great pets. And thankfully, so does my husband now that we've had a hamster together. Fact number 10, I wasn't allowed any animals, no pets whatsoever when I was a child. My mother hates the smell of animals, so she's never had pets. She actually couldn't take me to zoos. She used to have to get a family friend to take me to zoos instead. Fact number 11 is that I am a complete metal and rock head. I've always loved metal, heavy metal, rock, new metal, that kind of things. More than pop music, I just really like the heaviness of the sound. And my first concert was that I ever went to was when I was 16 and I was at the now closed London Astoria 2, I think. I loved that concert venue and it was Crowbar and Napalm Death. <laughs> that was jumping at the deep end in terms of going into gigs as a teenager. <laughs> Fact number 12, I have been to 23 countries, I think, which isn't a lot considering I went traveling with my husband for two years, two and a half years, and but we spent a lot of that time in Japan so that I could be with my mom. And also we tend to like to spend longer in each place rather than go country hopping or city hopping. I much prefer to spend two weeks in a city for a holiday rather than go to lots of different countries and cities in two weeks. Fact number 13, when we went traveling for two and a half years, we actually traveled with just a 30 liter backpack each. And I will put a photo of myself wearing that backpack fully loaded. That's all the luggage we had. We are ultra minimalist when it comes to traveling. We love doing it that way because then your luggage is always safe because you're, it's always busy. You never have to put it in somewhere else. And it's just a lot easier when you have to run for trains and you have to walk quite a distance to get to your hotel or hostel and stuff. So yes, we are ultra minimalist travelers. Number 14, and I know some of you are gonna be a little bit squirmish about this, but my favorite, favorite, absolute favorite food in the whole wide world are fresh oysters. Number 15, when I was 16, I actually got the opportunity to study theatrical lighting at National Youth Theatre down in London, which was an amazing opportunity and, and I got to do so much. We did three London shows and yeah, it was, it was great. Theatrical lighting was my first passion at school. It was when I actually found myself with something that I was good at doing and I enjoyed doing. Fact number 16 is that I am double jointed in all my joints and I'm not gonna show them to you because a lot of people get really, really squeamish and freak out and I don't want to freak you guys out on my video. But yes, I am double jointed in all my joints. Fact number 17 is that I came over to the UK when I was 10 on my own. Fact number 18 is that when I did that, I couldn't speak a word of English. I, well, I could say two sentences. One was, hello, my name is Ottocano. And the second is, I am 10 years old. And that was it. I couldn't speak a single any more word of English back then. Fact number 19, because this is a question that everyone asks after they find out I came over to England when I was 10 on my own, is yes, I did go to a boarding school for eight years. Fact number 20, I am a third generation stamp collector. And I know this because I have the stamp album that my grandfather had collected. And I also have a stamp album that my mother has collected. So we love collecting stamps. <laughs> And fact number 21 is if you know anything about stamps and postcards, then you probably wonder about postcrossing. And yes, I used to be hugely into postcrossing. I spent like a year just doing as many postcrossings as I could. And if you don't know what that is, it's a way to send random people really on the internet, lots of postcards to each other. And I will leave a link down below. 
on the website so that you can find more about it if that's something that sounds interesting to you. Fact number 22 is that I have dyed my hair colour every possible colour when I was younger. You name it, I have dyed my hair that colour except for green because that tends to fade to like a snot green colour and I really didn't want that. So I've not done that but every other colour I have done it. Fact number 26, my favourite colour that I've ever had my hair colour was when I had blue roots and the rest of it was bright pink. That was really awesome but it was really high maintenance so that only lasted for about a month. You used to have to dye it every week to keep the colour fresh and the two colours looking good. It's not something that I'm interested in doing nowadays. Fact number 24 is that I have a really trashy, terrible movie taste and I would be embarrassed to share with them with you on what kind of films I like. I like really trashy films but thankfully so does my husband. Our film taste match in that we like things that are just so trashy that it turns our brains off. When it's a film that's trying to be good and then there's some scientific inaccuracies we get really really wound up. So things like Geostorm and Pacific Rim where the science is so bad that your brain just chooses to shut down and not think about it. That's the kind of films we like. Fact number 25 is related to the film and that is that I do not like horror films. I hate them. They haunt me forever. I just don't watch them because yeah, no, no thank you. No. Fact number 26, and a lot of people know this already, but I am ridiculously, ridiculously introverted. I definitely struggle going to meet people. I hate doing that. And I also really struggle when people contact me regularly, like frequently. I It doesn't matter how nice they're being, I just find it too much to cope with, no matter how nice that person's being which I do feel bad but it's just something that I can't help and I am now setting boundaries with people if they email me too much or DM me too much then I'm like listen I'm incredibly introverted it's not you but I can't deal with this regular contact so if I ever say that to you please don't take it the wrong way it's not you it's just I'm not good at being contacted all the time. Fact number 27 is that I suffered anorexia for 14 years from when I was about 14 and I suffer from agoraphobia and self-harm so much better nowadays so so much better but I can't say it's completely gone unfortunately but it used to be really bad when I was younger but nowadays it's a lot more under control. Fact number 28 is that I absolutely love Tokyo Disney Sea. Every time I go to Japan I have to go to Tokyo Disney Sea. It is my favourite theme park and it's where I enjoy myself the most. But, and by the way if you want to enjoy a really really amazing custom service go to Tokyo Disneyland or Sea, it doesn't really matter. They are known for the, the amazing best quality customer service you can ever experience. There's even books written about it. And fact number 29 is yes, I have been to Club 33 and uh, twice. If you don't know what Club 33 is, it is the secret club that only very limited members can go to within Disneyland and it is completely sealed off and secret. There's no sign for it. You have to know where you're going. Obviously, I am not a member. Fortunately, members can book non-members in for a meal and so that's how I've managed to get in it twice is through a contact that my mum has and we've been there once for my mum's birthday and once for my husband's birthday. I'm really hoping at some point somebody will like let me go there for my own birthday because when it's your birthday you get to actually meet Mickey in private room but I've not had that opportunity yet but one day, one day I'm hoping for that. Fact number 30, talking of places that not a lot of people get to go, I have actually been inside the Vasari Corridor and for those of you who don't know what the Vasari Corridor is, it is the corridor that goes 
above Pointe Vecchio. If you see a photo of Pointe Vecchio, you see that there are windows above the shops and they're not shops, that's actually a corridor that connects the Uffizi Gallery with the palace on the other side of the river. And it is a corridor that is full of artists' self-portrait paintings and I've Ever since I found out that it existed, I've wanted to go, but it was very, very highly restricted. Even art historians that make TV programs, it took a lot of negotiation for them to get in. So I had completely given up the thought of ever going there. And then my husband very kindly found out that there is a tour once in a while that will take you through the corridor and tell you all about the history and stuff. And so he got me that for my birthday when we were happened to be in Florence during our long-term travel that we did. And yes, it's amazing. It's amazing just to like see out the window and look down on people who are at the Point Vecchio walking down and having no idea that there's a corridor here and there are people watching you. It was really, really cool. Fact number 31 is that I hate anything that is scratchy on my skin. So all my jumpers, you will notice, are fluffy and soft because yeah, I just can't stand anything scratch on my skin. And I also hate it when things are really tight around my wrist. Fact number 32 is related to fact number 31. And I love anything that's fluffy. If there is a fluffy option to getting whatever it is that I'm getting, I will definitely go for it. But I'm also very picky on the fluffiness. It has to be nice and soft and fluffy rather than like, not so fluffy. I, I'm just very, very picky about fluffiness. Fact number 33 is that I have never been interested in Pokemon, but my God, do I love Pikachu. It is so cute. I love Pikachu. They are so cute. Fact number 34 is that I actually taught myself how to do needlepoint. It's not that hard, but I did go out of my way to learn that so that I could finish a needlepoint project that a friend of mine's mother who had passed long time ago had left unfinished and I just wanted to get that project finished for them and turn it into a cushion so that's when I learned to do needlepoint. Fact number 35 is that my favourite drawing medium is the charcoal. I love the kind of push and pull you get to experience when you're working with charcoal and you kind of get to dig out or it's almost like 3D doing sculpture on a 2D surface. So I really enjoyed doing that. Number 36 is that when I was a kid, I really wanted to work for NASA. I watched Apollo 13. I was like, oh my goodness, I want Ed Harris's job. Is it Ed Harris? I think it is Ed Harris. I really, really, really wanted to work for NASA at the time. And I've always been a science head. I've never been into art until I hit my late thirties always been a science head, loved doing science and physics and things. So that was my goal in terms of what I want to do with my life for a really long time when I was a child. Fact number 37 is that I spent a whole year making my own clothes. So the goal for that year was that I wouldn't buy anything new and I know everyone wonders, did you make your own underwear? No, I didn't. I just had a lot of underwear to get through anyway. So underwear wasn't a thing, but everything else, that I needed, I made for myself. So I learned to knit jumpers, I learned to knit socks when I needed warm socks in the house. And I learned to sew lots of clothes, including trousers. That was really hard. But yeah, it was a great year because it really made me think about where clothes is coming from and how much effort it takes to create an item of clothing. And I'm really glad that I did that challenge. Fact number 38 is that we got married at the National Museum of Scotland. In Scotland, you can actually get married absolutely anywhere. You don't have to go to a, a registry office or a registered place to get married. You can marry in your own front room, which we did kind of consider at one point. But in the end, we picked the National Museum of Scotland because it's all about science and natural science. And we felt that it really represented us. Also, when we first moved to Edinburgh, we didn't have much money. And so on the weekends, we used to spend a lot of time at the National Museum because it's free to enter. And so, yeah, it, we felt it was very symbolic. Fact number 40 is that for some reason, printers hate me. Whatever I try to do, 
printers will go no and then my husband will come along and she will just look at the printer don't even touch it she just needs to be in the same room and it works i don't know why i don't know what i do to printers that are wrong there you go mm. fact number 41 is that i was hugely hugely and terribly bullied at junior school in Japan and it was one of the reasons why she, my mum decided to send me to the UK at such a young age was to get me out of that environment because of who I am and how I am I'm not a typical Japanese person I've never fit into the Japanese society and the expectation of people ever since I was a kid so I really struggled to get through school and get on with people it just wasn't a thing that i did very well at and you know kids can pick up on that so easily i also had very strange parents my mother was literally the only full-time working mother in my entire school all other mothers were housewives or at most only worked part time so we were singled out by the parents and we were singled out by the kids and it was just awful fact number 42 is that i have bipolar as you guys know i also have adhd and severe dyslexia but it doesn't stop me it didn't stop me from getting a phd so it doesn't really stop me from doing any things that i want to do i just figure out ways to get around the difficulties i have number 43 i have been a no pooer for <laughs> over 10 years and by no poo it actually means you don't use shampoo for your hair you use other things like very gentle salt which is what i use instead and it basically just the theory is that it sh doesn't strip your hair of your natural oils as much as the chemically harsh shampoos do fact number 44 is that i also make my own washing powder or laundry detergent as well as deodorant i used to make absolutely everything toiletry wise anything that went near me handmade because i had real struggle with chemicals at one point in my life i'm a lot better now i can use body creams and things that uh, pre-made and commercially available but I still like to make a few bits for myself. Number 45 is that because of that I did used to make my own makeup, I used to make my own eyeshadows, lipstick, foundation, everything, lip gloss, all of that. It was great fun. If you are into your paint making and if you're into your pigments then and if you like wearing makeup then i highly recommend getting into that because it's so much fun it's very very similar in that you get the base or you make the base and then you add whatever colors it is a lot of fun fact number 46 is that i used to be mega into nail art for years i used to love doing nail art and i used to have really really long nails like out here kind of really long nails that were completely real that were mine that I grew myself and I used to spend hours every weekend doing up my nails fact number 47 is that I am super super good at finding anything on the internet and I don't mean dark web I mean like good web <laughs> but if there if it's online I will find it even if it's not googleable or anything i will find it for you even if it's really really obscure and difficult to find i will find it and i will enjoy searching for it as well fact number 48 is that i love learning new skills but then i get bored of them very easily and then move on to new skills i think i'm more of a new skill learning person than getting really really experienced at one thing I'm basically a jack of all trades, a master of none. And that was one of the things that I really worried about when I started this YouTube channel because I was like, can I actually stick with watercolor for more than say six months? But it seemed to be sticking. Fact number 49 is that I now crochet blankets for a charity called Project Linus. It is a charity that donates handmade quilts and blankets to children in need. They might be going through illnesses, they might be going through trauma or being in foster care, any kind of trauma 
they donate these blankets to those children to bring them comfort and it is a charity organization that is available in the UK as well as US and somebody's told me it's available in Canada as well and if your country has Project Linus do let me know in the comments below so that everyone gets to be more aware of what countries have this project so I think it's a great project and it is a great outlet for me in terms of crocheting blankets because that's my passion and I really really struggled to find homes for the big blankets that I made and so in 2020 I have started to make pro blankets that are specifically for the project I've contacted my area manager asked her what the blanket size they need the most and I've been making blankets of those sizes and it's been great it's great to know that these blankets that I'm making ha already have homes to go to and finally my last fact is that I have swam with whale sharks that was in Okinawa and my husband and I did it it was an amazing experience although ethics of how they do the thing was questionable but i didn't know that until i got there i definitely would research more on how the company that's allowing you to do diving with whale sharks keep their whale sharks so that was 50 random facts about me i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much if you're still with us to watch it all the way I hope sharing random facts about me that aren't to do with watercolour and art has helped you get to know me a little bit more and that I'm a human being. Hello! <laughs> Thank you so much for watching all the way and I will speak to you in the next video. Bye!